हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज द फाइनल लेक्चर रिगार्डिंग द कोर्स एंड विद दिस लेक्चर और कोर्स रिगार्डिंग द ह्यूमन एनाटमी विल बी कम्प्लीटेड इन विच वी हैव डिस्कस डाइजेशन एंड द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम रेस्पायरेशन एंड द रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द्यूमन हार्ट विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इन अूमन बॉडी नाउ हार्ट प्रेजेंटेड बाई सलमान शाहीन चरू My name is Salman Shah Hincharu. I am in the final year of my graduation in the School of Civil Engineering from Lovely Professional University, and this is the link on which you can follow me in order to keep yourselves updated regarding the subject. And if you like my videos, please do share them. Now, there is a question. Basically, what a heart is, and the answer is simple. It is a hollow cone-shaped muscle that's about the size of an adult fist and is usually found to the left of our breastbone. That is a size uh, size of a single fist. This much is an uh, how our heart is in size and is the most important organ in our body as it is responsible for the circulation purposes. It basically is a complex pump. That is, it pumps the blood. responsible for circulating blood as i have mentioned earlier oxygen and nutrients around the body this is the basic function of heart and this is the picture of a real human heart see it is a size of a single fist now the parts of heart made up of three layers an inner lining called the endocardium a major layer of muscle called as myocardium and an outer layer filled sac known as a pericardium and the heart is divided into four chambers uh, the right atrium and the left atrium are the upper chambers of the heart the right ventricle and the left ventricle are the lower chambers of the heart these are the parts of heart each of the chamber has valves the valves have different names and they are number first the tricuspid valve is at the exit of the right atrium second one the mitral valve is uh, for the left atrium third one the pulmonary valve is at the exit of the right ventricle and the fourth one is that the aortic valve is at the exit of the left ventricle see now the function the purpose of is to allow blood to move forward through the heart and to prevent flowing back into the previous chamber in order to stop the risks of heart attacks and the vein blockages and this is the picture of a human heart now how does the heart work the heart muscle contracts in two states to squeeze blood out and the heart this is known as systole to Um, points are there one is systole and another is diastole first we are going to see systole in the first stage the upper chambers atria contract the, at the same time pushing blood down in the lower chambers that is towards the ventricles blood is pumped from the right atrium down the right ventricle and the, from the left atrium down the left ventricle in the second stage the lower chambers contract push this blood out of the heart to either the body via your main art Uh, artery that is aorta or the lungs to pick up the oxygen the heart then relaxes known as diastole blood fills up the heart again and whole process which takes a fraction of a second is repeated the different sides of the heart have different functions example on the right side the upper chamber fills with oxygen depleted blood from your body and pushes it via lower chamber and the pulmonary artery back to the lungs here blood picks up oxygen and releases the co2 on the left side the upper chambers fill the oxygen rich blood from the lungs this is pumped via the lower chambers into the aorta and out of the body to provide cells in the crucial oxygen they need and this is a picture of a diastole question is what makes the heart beat on average see this is a very important sentence on average most people have a heart rate of 72 beats per minute at rest 
this varies according to either your fitness or age of a person or exertion or a general health of a person do remember 72 beats per minute is an average rate now each heart beat is triggered by an electric pacemaker a group of cells in the heart that have the ability to generate electrical activity they cause electrical impulse to spread over the heart and makes it contract see if the electrical that is natural pacemaker gets uh, defected then the chances of the blockage of the veins and resulting in the process of resulting in the heart attack takes uh, results in the heart attack takes place and thus when a heart attack takes place and if the uh, natural pacemaker is damaged automatically then the insertion of an external pacemaker is uh, introduced in the body the largest natural pacemaker of a heart is called as a sino arterial that arterial that or sa node and is found in the right atrium from its specialized group of cells that carry the electrical charge lead of the rest of the body this is a sinoatrial node which is a natural pacemaker in a body now the facts related with the heart number these are the very important facts which can be asked anywhere for the purpose of general knowledge regarding the heart first one is the average weight of a healthy female heart human heart is 255 grams this is a weight of an average human heart female human heart and uh, while as a man's heart is usually slightly bigger at around 300 grams in uh, from these facts we have learned that the size of a human uh, female heart is 250 grams and approximately 45 grams more is a human male heart that is 300 grams with this our human anatomy course has been completed and this um, in this course and we have discussed digestion and the processes involved in the process of digestion secondly respiration and the processes involved in respiration and now we have discussed the heart which is which is a component of circulatory system of a body hope the videos will help you and make your concepts clear as i have provided lots of stuff regarding the same that is content Thank you so much.